Oh, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Candy apple red, baby. Yeah, it looks real good. But that's what not that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is this right here. So let's get to it. Again, welcome back to the channel everybody so glad each and every one of you can make it now we just got done spraying the car and there's a thousand thousand ways to do this just like mixing paints and applying paints and all that but I'm gonna show you how I clean my airbrush now I do this in between colors I do it after each time I use it and everything if you happen to have a little bit of paint left I always pour it back in the container you can see that's not much I'm getting better at mixing my paints pour it back in and then I immediately take a paper towel, stick it down in there, and run it around and get as much of that paint as I can out. Okay. Still a lot in there. Don't get scared. That's coming out. I went to the Dollar's Tree and bought me one of these here containers. It has a lid for it, but I never use it. Let me turn you down here so you can see. And what I do, as you can see there's still a lot in there. I don't swish it around. I take it, and I dump it in there real quick, and get a, get a bunch of water in it. I just kind of jiggle it around, and I throw that out. Most of it's already gone. That's what we're looking for. Now, we take another paper towel, get everything ready. All right. Now we take it and we can switch it around in the water. And this, don't hit your trigger yet. This helps clean the cup out as much as it can. You can see there's still a lot in there. But what I want to do is I want to put some in it, spray it out. That helps keep, that helps clean the needle out, raise you back up. It helps clean the needle out. Throw that off to the side. And this is hot water. Then I'll refill it. I'll take a clean Q-tip. Because some of that inevitably will be dried on the side of your cut. So I just take that Q-tip and run it around in there. Throw that out. Check it. See if I need to go around it anymore. Like right there in that corner. I go in there now with it. It's still wet, but I go in there and hit it with that Q-tip. Because those edges down there at the bottom like to catch it. Swish it around in the water some more. And now you can see 95% of that's gone. Well, now I want to take the tip out. So I take my airbrush apart. I take the nut. And I, <laughs> doing this outside, I have learned to always take this completely off. Because if I don't, it'll go bouncing around somewhere. Pull your needle out. You can see it's all over that needle. I just drop it in the water and let it soak. Now you can get down in there with your Q-tip and clean that out real good. Get up in the corners. Your Q-tip's all wet, and if it's not wet enough, get, dip it in the water. Swish it around some more. Look at it. We're almost there. You want to clean your tip out and the cap because that will be dry in there from running the, the airbrush it's just automatically going to get dry use the other end hit it again and they actually make a tool for this it's got a couple of um, wire brushes on it and a little scraper that'll get down in there I don't try to get it perfectly clean every once in a while I'll take the butt end of my needle and go in there and scrape it just go around it like that but swish it around in the water again and then I actually run a full cup through it without the needle in it. Hold it down at an angle so it doesn't want to go back up in your gun past your seal and your trigger. But I'll run a whole cup of water through it. I'll stop it, get on it, stop it, get on it, stop it. You know, just however many times you feel like you need to. And at this point, I will not back flush. I back flush last. 
just to make sure there's nothing left in past the seal and the tip of the needle. But I'll run a whole cup of water through there. And if you're using solvent-based paints, like uh, automotive paints or decan paints out of aerosol cans or anything like that, rather than using water, you'll be using paint thinner or lacquer thinner, something along that lines. But a very, very good tip, after you get done doing that, run a cup through a cup of water through it. And what that does, it'll get that lacquer thinner off of your O-rings, off of your seals, and help them last a lot longer. You see that's been soaking in there, now I just took it out and just ran the paper towel down it, now it's clean. Make sure the cup is clean. If not, work on it a little bit longer, you mean, it doesn't take me just a couple minutes to do this. We're doing this at speed. We're doing this at no uh, cutting, no splicing, no nothing. Take a clean paper towel, run it in there, and then that will show you if you have any paint left over. And there's not. But I always put the needle back in it. And if your needle goes in and doesn't catch, that's because your trigger's moved. So just hit your trigger, push it down, see? Reset it. Push your needle in. Make sure it bottoms out. Put your little holder back on, holder nut, and barely put your finger on the back of it and tighten that down. Now you're ready to spray again. But we're gonna run another bit of water through this. Get it about half full, because with needle in it, it'll take forever to spray it out. Finger over the tip and back flush. Wide open. If you're outside, I wouldn't recommend doing that inside. And the reason I wait till I have the needle in there is because if I would have done that with the needle out of it, any paint or anything that was still in here, anywhere in here, would have went past the trigger. It would have went past that rear seal. And you don't want that because that'll get back in there and gum up your airbrush and then it won't be smooth. It won't want to spray. So now we're going to run a half a cup through here. And you can see it's spraying perfect. And you can back flush as many times as you feel like you want to, need to, and then spray it out. Do it again if you want. It's not going to hurt anything at this point because there's really no paint in there. We done got it all out, but we're just, we're, this is how I clean mine every time. Like I said, if I'm doing solvent based paints like testers, model paints or anything like that, that I put it, that I buy and mix up, fingernail polish that I buy and mix up, uh, if I take some kind of paint and decan it and spray it through my airbrush so I get a better finish, better control and everything, I'll run the lacquer thinner through it or the paint thinner through it and then I'll come back and right at the very end I will run a cup of water through it. Again that gets all the water, I mean gets all the lacquer thinner off your o-rings and it helps your airbrush o-rings last a lot longer they have rebuild kits to where you can rebuild your airbrush when they because eventually they're going to wear out doesn't matter if you use water or whatever look at that that cup is perfectly clean that's how i clean my airbrush now we can set this to the side and spray another color if we choose to but i just wanted to put this out there like several people have asked me and this is just how I do it. And like I said, there's a bunch of ways of doing it. People, if you have access to it, 97% isopropyl alcohol, right? Works great. This is an alcohol-based paint that I just used, so alcohol will work wonders on that. Alcohol will work wonders on water-based paints. Alcohol doesn't do anything with the solvent-based stuff. So keep that in mind. And like I said, there's a lot of ways to do it. There's a lot of different techniques. They make, they actually make airbrush cleaner for this. And you can mix your own airbrush cleaner. But if you don't need it, why waste that money? Use that money for paint or wheels or, or glue, you know, whatever you need. But that's how I do mine. Thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you for the question about how I cl clean my airbrush. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.